It's a piece representing love and remembrance for the whole community to enjoy. It's cool that the whole community can walk by it and look at it. Alex Smithson, a Great Falls local, has worked for nearly two years on his sculpture and is finally ready to donate it to the city where he grew up. It's definitely satisfying to have it out on the River's Edge Trail where people can see it. The fish sculpture is five feet of hard work. Various old tools and metals make up most of the body and swirl together to create one mesmerizing piece even the Missouri River could be proud of. I started welding about 18 years ago at a construction job and immediately bought a little welder front home and started doing side projects. Started out with like keychains, coat racks, kind of functional art and kind of evolved into bigger stuff over the years. To use tools themselves as an art medium is definitely abstract, so why work with them? Just a different thing to work with, like you can buy brand new sheet metal and stuff and make, but I like finding parts that would often be recycled if I didn't kind of save it. A few years ago, Alex had a friend who passed away, so in his honor, he created something beautiful that the entire community can share for years to come. The spot where the fish is at is actually the last place I got to fish with my friend that passed away, so it's really cool that it's in this spot and his kids get to fish here and be by the memorial piece for years to come. Now that really is the perfect spot and you can see it for yourself at the Rivers Edge Trail across from the Milwaukee Station. In Great Falls, Brianna Juno, MTN News.